Hello everybody and welcome to my next video and this time we'll be playing a life league with this beauty that you can see. This is a blue white field deck. Um, I've decided to just just take some kind of a blue white shell uh, using some kind of standard um, classic playable card. So like, you know, I wouldn't call it a brew kind of because I've just taken the best classic blue white cards, um, let's say and just switched up the mana base a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean quite a bit. Because now it includes 19 unique lands, uh, with the purpose of, obviously, turning on Field of the Dead. So the idea was, in my head at least, to create a version of the deck which has a much better late game, you know? And just to see what the cost of that might be. And because it works in three color decks, I just thought, maybe let's try it here. Maybe let's try it here. We could just play around a little bit with some other lands which are not just bad, but maybe, you know, could provide some utility, like Colonnade, Castle, Castle, you know, some Mystigates for fixing, you know, Irrigated Farmland as a dual land, Rock Green Triumph as a dual land, which and they all also cycle, you know, so that's just like probably one of the first drafts of the deck. Um, so... We'll see how it plays out. I'm curious to see if that's maybe a contender for an actual playable blue white deck. Sideboard is just like, if you know me, you could probably build it yourself. It's like, this is a classic me sideboard. For Gust, 2EE, I love it in, in, in control decks. Vito, Mentor, I, I've always liked Mentor in blue white sideboards, be it Pioneer or Modern. So that's like, ba like it, it build, build itself, to be honest. Uh, I don't know what to expect as of now. Probably... Uh, probably some surgicals could be useful with the oops deck running around. So uh, actually, there could be maybe some some maybe some changes there if you don't expect a lot of Tron decks. Maybe you could switch it out for 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 surgical, or maybe some number like like one gas to one rejection for that. But uh, honestly, I believe like like in modern, you just you never know what to face, especially in a league, you know, and especially in a league. So I don't like you know meta gaming too much going into a league. So yeah, this is a deck. I'm going to play and please please remember if you haven't already like subscribe this video because uh, that really helps out the channel and if you also want to play any deck anytime you want like I can you can use mana traders and use the code which you can see down there islands in front is the code you'll get the first three months cheaper so let's get into the first live match okay match one match one um, this hand is obviously unkeepable um, yeah, yeah, this, like, if that was like a field of ruin or whatever, or some mulligan, like, if, if that was a, if that was a basic island, like a dual land, I'd probably keep with that opt, but maybe, probably. Oh, God. 20, 27 lands, here I come. Yeah, I guess. I've got a turn to Wall of Omens, which blocks at least. I've got a lot of utility lands there. Um, the problem is that, I mean, I would, should probably just bottom Sanctuary because it's never turned on the, with this hand. God, this hand is average. God. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, that's not the, maybe the best start I could have imagined. Especially if that's like a combo deck like control deck like on the other side. Yeah, a Blood Moon deck, sure, so I'll just, because this allows me to potentially drive Force of Negation, uh, because I have Frantic, and if I cast, like, because I really dislike the arguments of a lot of people who say, um, hold up, like, bluff. Like, that's not a spot to bluff. They will never, ever not jam on turn three. On turn two. Like, there's no way. Oh, they decided to do this rather than this. That's great for me now. Because I've got the blocker, I've got the verdict, and I've got mana leak with a frantic. So, yeah, sure. Sure. Okay, we can close that now. Yeah. So up that's an that's an easy block. Let's just like no, 
no no question here easy block yeah absolutely yep lap yep, yep, yep wall doing its thing fetch so like they should really blood with me if they have it question is if they do pillage i can't afford to be pillaged can i i actually might actually i might you know actually i think i will because I think the mana leak is like that threat which I'm way more afraid of, such as a blood moon, than that pillage. And going from three to, to two, to now go to three doesn't change much, honestly. Now this will be a basic island, and now I've got opt leak, and then the following time I've got a verdict, should I need to. So like if they have like a blood braid, if I don't care much. Um, yeah. Yeah, fetch, so like a 4 drop, like a Chandra maybe. Oh, I'm here. So I'm really happy I did, I, I did that with the, with Pillage. Let's opt so that they don't know that we just... Oh, yeah, let's take that, yes. Let's mana leak it. Now it's what? 4, 5 damage here. Okay, let's take the planes and let's just do that and then to recuperate the, the, the lost cards. I've got this. Let's see what they have a follow up, what follow up they've got. It might be like a glory bringer, but I really hope it is a glory bringer because it's still like a very pathable threat. Oh, they pass. Oh, God, that's Oh, God, that was good. Shh. Okay, so let's just play that. Hold up cryptic. Yeah, so I think that... Uh, what? Oh, sure. I think the fact that I let the pillage resolve just may have won me the game, or at least prevented me from losing. So that's that's something. That's great. I'm happy about it. Sure, so let's just attack me for now. To, down to seven. So the problem with these decks like blue non-green ones is that I don't have this catch-up mechanic in the form of uh, Uro, right? And life total wise. Snap, okay. So snap verdict, snap cryptic. Mm -hmm. So I won't snap verdict as of yet because they've got two more of them coming here, right? In with this pyromancer. So let's wait. Just a bit. Let's wait. They attack me down to five. That's fine. Actually, I might just end step create a token to just get rid of it that way. Because they might. But on the other hand, because they will pass. And now I can, for example, draw two, then pass, they will have two more tokens, and I can snap cryptic them, and then snap verdict them, the tokens. Because I really don't want to go too low, obviously. Yeah, okay, I think I'll, I'll just, yeah, so let's just do that. Let's try to pull ahead a bit. Oh, that makes it easier. So, yeah, I don't want to add snap to the board because I'll be verdicting, probably. That's a okay draw. That's an okay draw. Oh. Actually, I'll do this. I'll plus, pass, they will make two more tokens, it's four damage, but that's fine, because they e they don't kill me or Teferi, 
And now I've got a phone for the bolt. Um, so that's fine. So I know I know I'm just like you know, barely hanging on, but I think that's something which I have to do to really push the advantage. Three mana. Pillage. Just destroys a land. That's fine. Abrelf? You drop your sprawl. Sure. So I'm not I'm not snap anything in. I'll just untap. Um I will plus to, to verdict instant speed. I'll just put, I think, cryptic on top here. Yes. And now I can verdict them. Hold up phone. So yeah, yeah, that sh I should be good to go. Uh, one, two, three, four, five lands. Okay, I, I will plus to fairy because I will use the minus to bounce my own snap custom age. Uh, in just a moment, I'll just snap optos out, snap like frantic or something. Mm, obviously, that's a counter draw, and it's just annoying because of the tokens. Actually, that's a good one. They will make the tokens immediately. Really? Really? That's like... Oh, God. That's very unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Okay, quadruple gust. I like EE on the play because of the Arbor Elf and, and Utopia Sprawl. So on the play, that's better. We can act, I mean, we could actually go this way potentially because yeah. So this is obviously a great card. This is great on the play because I can just play it on one and destroy the Sprawl Arbor Elf and just push them back a turn. Mentor, I'm thinking as like a clog the board, you know, type of threat. Timely, just life cushion and veto because they play a lot of non-creature spells. But in practice, there's like 12 cards to bring in and I don't know what to take out, realistically. Um, so let's think about that. Let's think about that. Certainly it's forecast. Do I want the verdict? I th so like I think I, it's either mentor or verdict in this case. I think, okay, this game was probably just... Uh, yeah, let's let's just not bring the timelies. Because they they like these like man and denial draws. This does nothing against. I I will keep verdict and just cut mentor and and keep the verdict. Um Wall of Omens is average. What's my pathing in this matchup? They've got a like Blood Braid, Seasoned Pyro, Glorybringer. But I've got also gas for that. Maybe I can trim on the cryptic because of the mm, mana problems potentially. That's tough. So maybe I just stay with four gas and like trim a path and just go like that to Jace. Just, I guess. Like, sure, let's do that. Let's do that. Um. Yep. Pass. Hoo -hoo -hoo. That was unfor that was an unfortunate ending. Because like if I don't counter that pyro, they either draw two. I mean they draw two anyways. So it's like a threat which I have to deal with and they draw two and potentially they even get a token because of the discard. They had one card in hand. So I don't think I could have 
That nah, I think that was fine. I think that was fine. Unless because I had so much, so many resources that I maybe I oh I nonsensically passed. I mean nonsensically, we not nonsensically. Because I think I now I will just cast the sprawl and not to for one myself and then gen, then hard cast fun hopefully. So I will show game log and I'll probably in the draw step cast this pro. But I think yeah, so I have I will have to rewatch that ending because it's possible that I was in such a position that like whatever that that pyro does, I can still control it. And I could have possibly just said the only thing I lose to is the glory bringer and I can realistically play around it so I should have that's very much possible so yeah I will have to rewatch the ending but I think actually I may have been in the position to play around that okay what's my opponent doing in response to the gust on the sprawl They seem not to know what to, probably like stomp maybe they think about like stomping me. They really like what to do, what to do. So the idea of this cast is to put them back a turn and like if they kept like two lands sprawl they won't be doing anything this turn or the following turn so it, it, it would mean that it's bought me two turns right if they kept like a normal functioning hand it means that it just pushed them back a turn which is also fine now they put sprawl on um on top which suggests that their hand is not marvelous that's not a problem. That's a great draw. So now they will redraw the sprawl. Um, now the question is, oh, they did. Oh, I don't think they should have showed me the the foothills at this point. At least not before casting the sprawl, unless because if they have the third land, why would they keep the sprawl there? And now, because I know they have wooded foothills, I will I would never phone the sprawl. Had they not showed me the, the foothills, I may have phoned it. Blood moon me pillage. Um, sure. I I'll, I'll just do that. Can't afford. A land would be awesome, yup, and a basic land at that. So I've got a cryptic or even just opt up path if I need to. And so I basically push the game a turn, which is which is yeah, fine by me. Now if they have a, and actually if you look at the mana base which I've created, it's a very much um, boil proof mana base. I mean yeah, kind of boil proof. Like there's a lot of proper non-island lands now in this case just if they have a boil they have boil sure and now because they just pass priority to me maybe maybe i'll just untap okay maybe let's just do one more sure let's just keep the lands coming um I'll just, yeah, okay, sure. Let's just play that, hold up cryptic, or if not, just inventory path. On the other hand, maybe I just play foolishly because there is no way they don't have boil. 
because they wouldn't have played like that. Like they wouldn't have, like they should have. They should have boiled me earlier. They didn't, unless they're setting up literally like end step boil or oh, something like that. Sure. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, that was a very anticlimactic finish, but yeah. So see you next match. Hello, welcome. That's match two. We're keeping this hand. It's just like two lands, cantrips. I mean, that's not like great because this hand doesn't do anything yet. Um, but it has the potential to be doing stuff. Spirits. Okay, so let's just. I think I will just aggressively cash in my um, cantrips because if they thalia me. I will never have time to do that. And I will also preemptively use my fetches. Let that be a basic island, maybe. Oh, that should have been that should have been a snow cover. Like when you're fetching, you should be fetching for snow ones because there are fewer snow ones. And so if you fetch out one of these, there is still two of these in the deck and one snow. So I'm still more likely to draw another one of these, which I don't want because of the field. I'll think I'll double up just to, you know, double spell, take a land, yeah, sure, opt, uh, a la sure, I've got just so much to do. Do I need a third? I think I can, this could be a tapped land turn, pass, hold up inventory path. <laughs> Magic Origin Planes. Sure. They're just passing like that. I think I'll just inventory then. They could like quell it, but I'm not sure I'm afraid of a queller in this position. Yeah, yeah, so, okay, so it's spirits. Um, sure. So I think I can play it slow. Now just hold up Mana League Path. And, and convert Mana League as soon as I can. Because it's expiring. And also it doesn't work as well against the Vile deck, obviously. So counter magic is at its worst in this matchup. I will gladly side out almost all, all, all of it, if not literally all of it. Uh, Shacklegeist is just like a 2-2. Two, two, oh, it's just a 2-mana two 2-2. Two, two. Sure. So I'll just take the damage. Um, so like I might path, but if I path here... They will play Rattle Chains, which I can't mana leak. I will untap, play Verdict, they will quell it. So I don't like this position yet. So let's just pass again. And now I can go... We'll see what I do. Because I think what they're doing is just holding up the Rattle Chains. And that that's... I think they, they would have like Rattle Chains Queller. So whatever I do will be... Uh... Oh, so actually the following turn, maybe I can just block with a colonnade, you know? And that might force them to do something. Because again, if I puff here, they play rattle chains. And then I go snap path, and I don't have a mana leak for the... So let's wait one more turn. That's a sixth land. Unfortunately, the, it doesn't block on the ground. Okay, that's an unfortunate draw because they can now path the colonnade and hold up everything else as they were. But I think I want to force the action. Like, I want, 
I need to start doing things. So, but uh, yeah, I fully expect it to get pathed. Mm-hmm. Sure. So it, that just happens. There'll be a snow land. Yeah, take three. Wolf Homan is dead. Useless. Okay, trigger. However, I can go... Oh, I miss secrets. I will lose the token now. I can go Supreme Vert. Supreme Verdict. And then if they quell, as I think they will, I can leak it. And there are no counter spells for two, if I from what I know. Yeah, so that's like that's that's the sequence I I'd expect. I now I'm converting the leak, hopefully. Yeah, it's unfortunate that I, they played that strand. I, I lost one token. Now they might aggressively play the rattle chains end step. Thought so. So now I'll just fetch a basic and path it immediately. Actually, no, it doesn't have to be a basic. I can just fetch the prairie stream. Mm-hmm. Okay, so maybe I've maneuvered it um, to hopefully a winning position because now they've got all the mana in the world. So whatever they draw, that's mana. That's bad for them because it's absolutely useless. Um, and we can just do yeah, and we can just keep doing our stuff. So I'll just attack. Okay, make a token. And I think I can pass again. Um, and now I've got still frantic snap leak or frantic snap frantic. If should I need to, sure, pass. So again, it's very unfortunate. Like this deck is way more prepared to find on the ground. Skycliff apparition. Oh, a creature that's on the ground. Perfectly fine with me. I know it's a spirit, so it can be buffed, but I'll worry about it once it's buffed. I can auto yield to their vile triggers. I'm not going to respond to them because, again, they've got all the mana they need to. At least they've got matching basics magic, magic origins, magic origins. Um. Yeah, so let's see what happens. They attack. I easy block, obviously. So they don't even attack. That's fine. Now let's just go with frantic. Draw two. Um, I'll go just go with snap opt, I think. Or snap fr I'll just go with snap opt, I think. Because I draw two. I might just as well... Yeah, I think I might as well draw the best out of top two. That's why Frantic is like, eh. But... Sanctuary. Uh, nah. Let's just, let's just go, go, uh, go a search and, oh, that's a fine one. I can even begin by, by casting the wall. Hold up Cryptic. Here. Uh, fetch, make two tokens off of the fetch, cycle this. Just jump for six and turn the corner. Turn the corner. Activate vile resolves. Oh yeah, absolutely. Sure. That's like no non consideration really. As long as it's on the ground and it is on the ground. Um, yeah. 
this will be a um, it could be a farmland but I think I'd rather potentially draw it to cycle it so I don't think it will be a farmland it, it would have been early in the game because I do want to get all the top land out of the way oh nice 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 um, so just EE probably and maybe Mentor to just push to push through attacks because the thing is that leaks out, phones out, okay, basically. So I think now the question is: Do I think Mentor is like better than Leak, for example? Right? Maybe it's not. But just keeping in Leak, is just it's, okay. I'll just I'll keep this Leak because oh, okay. Let's just do double Mentor. Double mentor and uh, two leaks. Oh, so might as well just have matching ones. They're they're mismatched because that's not my deck. It's rented. It's rented from mana traders. Using the code islands in front right here, you can get a discount. That was nice. So that's why they're mismatched. Okay. Um <laughs> Okay, sure. So like turn one explosives, turn two blow up explosives, turn three teferi, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> they don't have a one drop, that's wild. Uh but I th Okay, because I may have been just a bit too fast. Won't they? They don't have any... Uh, they could have, like, uh, this uh, pirate, right? I think I will just... I, I think I will still do this. Because I do truly want to have an empty battlefield for the Teferi. So just... They could have had the pirate into something. And in, they have a lot of ones in their deck, so it invalidates all of them. Now, if they play a two drop, that'd be great. I mean, great. I'd rather them not play anything, honestly. Uh, Supreme Phantom, I'd expect. Supreme Phantom, it is. Um. I think I can just aggressively path it. And then follow it up with the field of the dead. Um, so because because in it's a, it is a purely blue white deck, it doesn't have green, so it doesn't have cocoa. So ramping them up to four from three doesn't change much, probably. Uh, however, what what may have been worth considering is pathing on their turn to elicit a response so that I can jam it a fairy. Rattle chains main face. That's it. Okay. I've got snap path here. I'll just jam the Teferi. I think it's high, highest upside and it's actually really high upside. Okay, so now I can safely do this. The fairy is just, it's just stupid. Maybe if I play three snap to wall, I should play three of them. I don't remember how many I play. Let's just check quickly. Oh, I do play three. So that was, yes, okay, that's smart. That's smart. I like that. Ah. <sighs> Opponent, why would you do that to me? Three mana. Drug Skull Captain. Sure. And a Rattle Chains, I assume. Spectral Sailor. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so I could just play like Jace Minus, but then they replay the Captain. So I think I can just play Island. 
and pass and just see what happens and I can potentially blow up the one drops and then play a frantic like the fairy is dead this turn and I, I'm aware of that oh unless it isn't because if they miss attack I can yeah like that I can go snap path here then this has one power and then the fairy survives and I still have got the EE for that sailor. So that's a good position to be in. Okay, let's just path here. I've got five lands already. Four lands already for different ones. The mana base has been fine. I think I think I'm happy with the mana base. Or at least not unhappy for that matter. Rattle chains, sure, I expected that. They could have like Skull Cave apparition. Ether Vial, oh yeah, just play into my EE. -E. Please do. Um, now Teferi is most probably dead. I mean, unless, because they seem not to have Lords, because they would have played them, I think, uh, previously, so I can just do that, maybe, and just hope it works, and it just might. So let's just do that, and just hope to untap as is. But even if they do have a Lord, worst case is that one of the walkers dies, so I have the other one, unless they've got, like, Skyclave into Lord, but they didn't have either the previous turn. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, see you match three. Okay, so we are on the play match three. Um, I mean, I wouldn't be myself if I if I didn't keep it. Cantrip into leak, leak, cryptic. That's like my type of game. And I will lead with the field. Uh, because I don't need to opt to turn one, like opting turn one really isn't something I need to be doing. Um, because it's very easy to squeeze it in, especially with that hand. Because I could, I knew I would could go turn to leak, into turn three leak opt. So yeah, I don't want to prioritize that. Cloth is let's just rid of it. It's not so great. Against okay, blue white, I mean, especially possible with like ether gusts, or that would be. I, I want it to be a planes, but I also don't. Um, it could be an island, a third island, potentially. Let's do that. Would they have slammed Blood Moon? I don't know if they would have slammed it. I think I'll just do this leak now. Uh, blood Braid, Trigger, Blood Moon, Shaw, I will leak the Blood Moon. And uh, they've got three cards in hand, this is irrelevant completely. Oh, that was a good one. Um, I'll play Island Pass, because, like, I don't know how much I want to prioritize it, it being a different land, you know? Like a, like, a different land or another basic, and I can't, I don't have a third different island, you know? So let's see what they do. Let's see what they do. Uh, sprawl resolves. Is their hand trash? We don't know yet. Ta -ta -ta. Counter draw is like the fastest counter draw I could have done. Probably like Cascavenging Us, I imagine. Unrelf. Irrelevant, sure. So if that's the case. This will probably be a sanctuary for a cryptic, I think. And now we've got five lands in place, so we can hold off the ground easily. <sighs> Trigger. Really? That's... That's wild. Okay. That's ridiculous. Sanctuary. Cryptic. Trigger. Yes, 
Now I will opt into it. I think I will actually counter draw on the pyro. I think. That's an okay one. That's an okay draw. They attack me for seven down to six. Um, I think I can opt main phase, see what happens. I don't want another field. Um, yeah, I can, I think I will actually play Jace. And I can plus the chase on them. I think I will... Ah, because of the field. I think I will bottom it. Okay, I don't want to use these resources. Now they... Let's see how they attack. But they can't attack through path. They can't kill Jace or me. I've got the fawn. So, like, they could have top deck a Glorbringer. Uh... But now I can ant up and brainstorm. They want to stomp me, and that's for that's exactly six. So now they don't have anything, and I ant up with Jace and Field. I mean anything. They literally have the board state, but. <laughs> They don't have the mana to use the tokens here. So what I want to draw? Just almost anything, really. But wall is a good start. A really, truly good start. Do this. Draw. Beautiful. Do that. I could even bounce Arborelf, but I think I'd rather just keep brainstorming now. Um, sure. Sure, I can just put these two back. Um, I think going down to one is okay. I'll just find the... Uh, I think I can just find the tapped Halot Fountain. To shuffle away these two lands, just play another wall. As you do. Uh, now the problem is I don't have any life gain in my deck. <sighs> mm -hmm. Four gust in, two all out, one cryptic out, one path out. I think that was the sideboarding. Let's just let's just roll that like that. Oh god. Mm. Um, do I want the verdicts actually? I might not. Would I rather have the wall of the verdict? Ah, uh, maybe. Well, let's keep them. Let's keep them for now. <sighs> that was unfortunate. But. I don't know. So, what I could have done... I mean, I suddenly missequenced because I didn't have to play the Misty first. I didn't have to play the Misty. Like, forgetting about how it actually ended up. I didn't have to play the Misty before brainstorming, obviously. I just wanted to get, like, kind of, like, my brain said, just do it, you want the tokens. But I didn't have to do it. Um, but I think there is this... There's one conclusion. They have, and it ties this match, the previous match, and the previous match, like all three of them, is that I want to go long, and that's fine, but I don't have a great catch-up mechanic. Mm, like, if I lock them with Teferi Jace, that's great, obviously. 
I get the field going, I can just kill them, sure. But it really I think it really lacks the life gain, which Uro provides. I mean, obviously, how, like, you can't play Uro all the time, but it just provides you this nice life cushion, this nice main deck life gain, which just kind of just staying alive, staying alive, and then you can actually do something. Um, I don't know if there's like a proper blue-eyed effect. You know, I'd have to play like Oust, probably. Uh, or, or if you want to get really like brewski, you could pl you could play Radiant Fountain and just go nuts with Cryptic. Um, on the play, so I they, I go like land go they they go land go I play land go and then they they play a three drop and I'm dead so I have to mulligan this hand that's a much but that's a way 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 better hand and I think with this hand I will bottom snap cast a mage because this opt basically has to be a la I could actually I could bottom in a path actually I will because I'm not scared of their creature draws. I know he's saying that having literally lost to a creature draw, but um, they don't have a one drop. That's wild, and I think I will just take this opportunity to find. Oh no, I will. I will go crazy with the basics. Actually, a land. I'll just take it because it's a land. This will be a plains. Um, yeah, this will be a plains. This will enter untapped, and we'll go from there. But what could they have possibly kept? Is like a scavenging ooze now? Do I care? I think I don't. So I'll just opt. No, because I have double. Yeah, I want to double blue. Now I do have double blue. So I could. So okay. So we'll see. So if they slam a three drop, I'll just leak it. Obviously, off on it. Uh, we'll see if I if I'm able to squeeze snap opt somewhere. And they're fetching a blood wound. Yeah. Mm. I think I can let it resolve. I think I can. Actually, I think I can. I've got the island if I want to, like, uh, if I have an ether gust somewhere, let's just take the island. Yeah, sure. I won't attack them, just hold it, hold it off here. I still have got fawn leak, I've got eventually leak. Uh, so, yeah, it's going fine. So just by proper fetching patterns, I'm, I've basically kind of to for I, I one for, for zero them, because they've used the card, but I don't have to deal with it. I'm snap blocking, literally, snap blocking. Path isn't very useful anyways. I'll just path here just to play the inventory and not have it eaten. Okay, they just let it resolve. Um, just inventory here. Draw one. Just like this card is so embarrassing, you know. Boil me. Yeah, sure. Snap custom mage, yep. Guess the card boil is just so infuriating, I have to admit. I mean I get why it's played, but it's just cloth is can't do anything about it, really. A relic. 
I'll respond with the snap. I'll just snap opt, I guess, because yeah, actually, yeah, that's strictly better to just opt because because frantic is a two mana draw one. Yep, let's keep the cast. And uh, yeah, they they really getting going after my mana. Three mana wall. <sighs> yep. I'll path it because I have to deal with it anyway, and then that these tokens and stuff, which is truly annoying. I can just draw. I mean, do I care about clothes? I kind of do. I think I'll just draw step, cast it, draw step again so that they don't, they don't have it the next turn. Because actually, I don't like my only plan realistically now is just to go snap beats, snap beats, and cloth this offsets half of that. So, yeah, but I expect them to be drawing very good. Like, yeah, okay, they, they just have another cloth is. The best draw now, like a fairy, or a jet. Oh, oh god, that's like. That's bad. Yep. Yep. Okay, let's just pack it in and let's just play another match. Let's just play another match. Okay, match four of this league, Sniper Keeper. If you, if you have probably noticed, and I think you have, is that this deck doesn't, like, doesn't feel like a field deck. And that was kind of the point, you know? Yeah, like, you're playing blue-white anyways. You have upped the land count because you don't want to be greedy, right? You really want to hit your land drops. And, oh, by the way... You've got this powerful engine, uh, which which lets you like, you know, turn the corner. So I think I think if I were to be playing blue white, it would be that kind of blue white. Yeah, because of uh, because of this this fact that it just truly feels just like blue white. A port delta into breeding pool fetch turn one gilded goose. Oh boy. Uh, Speculative Teferi, I think I will take Speculative Teferi because of how it good it can potentially be. I should have played Snow Covered Island because hypothetically if I if I go run a run a run a run a run a run a lands, I would like them to be all different. And that does that and that didn't add anything, so it should have been this. So it's probably like an Ursa deck. Emery, I th I think I'll just leak Emery. That's not a good draw. Um, it's okay, so now I will snap opt, hopefully for for white souls. Mm-hmm. Sultai, Sultai, Bug, Urzatek. Just play, please play a non-creature spell. That would be, that's all I want. A non-creature spell. I mean, creature spell is also fine, I guess, because of this path. 
That's Nurza coming down. Yeah, sure. Let's just snap opt in response. This Ursa doesn't add much to the battlefield, actually. Nope. Okay, yeah, 27 lands later. Classic. I will just jam it. And I will think, I think I can gently, I think I can just do this. Then jump here, and then I will path the Urza because I want to path it anyways, and that snap is useless. And if they have removal for snap, I'll worry about that. But I might, might just force it. They could have like a push or something. Oh, I'm absolutely phoning that one. Okay, so it's like a bug, bug, thop to sword. Which makes sense. Easy chomp. Plus here, I don't want to use the sanctuary. I'll just draw step. Get rid of actually no 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 stop stop okay okay shots okay draw step path and now I've got I don't have anything else so fingers crossed Yep, that's okay. And my they might equip here, or oh, they don't. I think I would have. I mean, they might prioritize getting food. I don't want to redraw any of them. Sure, I'll just keep sanctuary in case I needed one, two, three, four, five different lands. They'll make a food. I could theoretically take Fawn because I'm I'm safe against creature spells. Tesseret Agent of Bolas. Let's do this. Do it do this to me, opponent. Shaw resolves. Um they've got four mana, I'll just path it. So that they can't spin or something. To be fair, I'm kind of quite jealous of my opponent because I would love a good Urza shell. I truly would love such a shell. Maybe this deck, I think maybe it should just play Archmage's Charm because I think that's a very good uh, control card. And actually lets you not run out of gas like we have been. But what would I play? Like, just this card is just bad. Okay? I just I think I wanted to establish that right out of the gates. This card is trash. In my opinion. It's trash. In my opinion. It's absolutely trash. In my opinion. So. Oh, that's nice. I will, and now I will not use, will not use it first because I might just want to minus. Ooh. Okay, so I'll just plus the fairy. I think I can now safely just minus Jace, not use like sanctuary brainstorm. Leave it for for later. Yeah, I think I think in the wrap up section, I will talk about that further. One, two, three, four, five, six. I will talk about it further. I think you could redo the shell. I think the shell is fine. I think you can just redo it without these. Not this. Leak is fine. Without the frantics. Frantics just 
Like, I don't think I, sh I should be saying such words when I'm on YouTube creating content for the whole family. And the family can enjoy it. Please don't play another Urza. They could play like War of Invention. Yeah, it seems like a War of Invention. Uh, for the second foundry. Which is supremely annoying. But I can win through that. And I will attempt to. But... If I lose this one, which I might, I think I'll just drop the league. Won't be playing all the fa all five matches. But uh, I will have a wrap up section. I think I've got some kind of proper proper conclusions in my head right now. I mean proper conclusions. Conclusions, you know. Okay. So I think I'll begin here. Because they either suck it and then don't have it, which is fine, um, or they return it and then I can find it on the way back. So we'll just make them create such a board state once, like some kind of actual board state, and then we will be taking care of it. We'll be taking care of it. And I'm doing this first because I want to get deeper into my deck. Okay. And they have returned it to their hand. Now, they've got four power. So I, I think I can just brainstorm anyway. I don't want the leak. I don't want the fountain. I might actually, one, two, three, I might activate Colonnade Path. Yeah, I'll just put two lands back. One, two, three, four. So I might just do this. Play this tapped. Pass, and then block one, path another, fawn, alternative cost. That might be an, a line, I think, here. Oh, that would be a good line. Now, if they misattack, if they attack some kind of in the wrong way, but I think Jace is alive anyways. So I, I hope they push everything into Jace. The Jace survives. But no, they don't have... Okay, two here, one at Jace. Okay, so now I do have a decision which one I, I keep. And I think I'd rather keep Jace. Because it actually does something. And I'd have to use more resources to um, to keep Teffy around. So let's just do this. Keep Jace. I don't know how many foundries they have, but like, probably four of them. Why would you go through all the hassle to play such a deck if you don't play for foundries? I think... Just play it. Thanks. Please don't have a counter spell. They might have like a rebuke. They do have a rebuke, right? Don't they? Oh god. Um, yeah. That's a bad position. I think I will cycle just to get one deeper. And then I'll just do this. Oh, 
I guess. Oh, but just like. Oh, God, that's. Nope. Uh, I'll play Mentor, I'll play... It's colorless, right? So it doesn't counter anything almost. I'll just play the Vita, I'll play the EEs. Cut the walls. Uh... I draw... I would really like to cut the Frantics. Path is average, like, what am I pathing? I'm pathing more Emery. It's also unfortunate because I'd rather, like, bolt Emery or push Emery. Not path Emery. I'll just trim one path and just cut, I don't know, three opts. I, I really don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, I'm not going to rage quit, although I feel like I should, maybe. Um, yeah, that's a sniper keeper. That's a sniper keeper. But I think we we will have learned a few things thanks to this league. Um, one of them is the fact that you can play any deck anytime you want if you use silence and another mm, yeah pass and another is that blue white is just a bit lackluster and people people don't help blue white by putting more bad blue white cards in it and I think Frantic is one of them. Because when you play with one Frantic, it's just absolutely, absolutely, just, just, just absolutely um, embarrassing to play. It's two mana, I'll draw a card. And it's also graveyard dependent, where everybody plays graveyard hate. But just like, let's, let's let it slide for now. It's graveyard dependent. So, and then... The second one draws two, so you have put, put four mana at this point to draw three, right? And all, only, only only when you've drawn the second copy and four mana for three cards, that's okay. That's an okay-ish rate if I could just have it like that. Uh, and okay, the third copy gets... okay. So basically, I think like it's really worth it on the third copy. And the problem is that the, the first one doesn't at all help you find the find the second one, you know, because the first one just barely does anything. So, like the second copy is this 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 kind of the stepping stone, you know, this kind of this this breakthrough point. And when the games are dynamic, you draw the I don't know I draw the play like you no know, omen of the sea rather than this. Oh I, oh I, oh I really would. Oh just don't get me wrong. Fra just give me Omen of the Sea any time, rather than the first copy of Inventory, and probably also the second copy. Talisman of Curiosity. Uh, I don't have... Yeah, sure. Because I can invent... Yeah, another goose, sure. I'll just Inventory hoping to hit a land in my 27th land deck. 27. Yeah, oh, I don't. That's not surprising, is it? Let's just blow up the food. Just virtually cut them off of two mana. But they can still just play a land and play Urza and then that's bad. And I could have held mana up but it doesn't accomplish much because I hold up Vito which also doesn't uh, help me against a... <laughs> hmm. 
Why? Why, Deck? Why? But it seems like they did not have the fourth land. So that EE truly skipped them a turn. Which is fair enough because I also skipped a turn. Um, but now they will play Urza, I will path it, and then I will ant up, play Teferi, bounce the token. Yeah, and I also expect them to have like a veil. Which is also fair enough. Can't imagine start playing such a deck online, to be honest. Okay, I, I think I will... Um, does it matter? It might not if it's in the graveyard. I don't think they have like a graveyard recursion thing in this deck. Oh, they have Emery, literally Emery. Well, I'll, I'll be buffing Emery anyways. Now this happens. Now do I just slam to fairy? Now the problem is that if I don't slam, they will just keep producing the food. And I think I just with the, I, I I'm not even hitting land drop, so just passing the turn game doesn't doesn't benefit me. And I've always had the second copy to just if that doesn't work, just just redo it. Now, will I minus? I might. To hit that land drop. Uh, yeah, yeah, getting disputed, sure. Um, I, I'm truly surprised. I think it's bizarre that they would sack the food and not use the talisman, so... Oh, because they're using all the mana anyway, sure. So this way they save themselves one point of life. Fair enough. Another foundry, and okay, now we're doing that again, pitching mana leak, I think, because it's like, like with them having four, five, six, seven mana even, they could literally play a four drop through mana leak, like an Urza. They will counter back, which I, again, I, I fully expect. Yup. Mm. One card they had for them. Now I will just jump to fairy. Yup. I will probably plus it because otherwise it will just die to a randomly created token. Oh God, please just, oh, please. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's just plus it, pass. And, uh, and now they might make a food, which would make me very happy, because I could just bounce that and counter it on the way back. And I think they will, yeah, they will make a token. Uro, yeah, they do have Uro in their deck. Lucky them. If they don't have a land, they can't escape it. They don't. That's good. Emery, that's terrible. Veil were... So... Maybe a land. Cheers. Let's do this. Do this. Path this. Hold up veto for the were. And then they escape Uro. Uh, hold up veto for the 
for the Foundry, which may, they might not even play. And I wish they, I hope they do, but they might not. Oh god, this is not good. Bad, bad, bad situation. And opponents playing slow as well. Like, I'm talking through everything I do, and I'm literally 10 minutes up on clock. That doesn't uh, help content creation, I have to admit. The, like, the games lack dynamics because of that. Oh, they could they could just do both. They could just play Uro and 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 the Foundry. I mean, I myself would be very uh, I wouldn't be very happy to play such a deck where both Uro and the Foundry. So two of my main engines are Graveyard Reliant because a Rip or a Leyline or I don't know. Relic or whatever really really make my life difficult, you know <sighs> That's yeah, okay sure Just so much time is he was he just They've spent two minutes fetching a basic off of Emery and then obviously just escaping a row. <sighs> yep. Black. Yup. Yes. Yes, thank you very much. No, there is a thing, like, had I known my opponent would be playing so slow, maybe I would have just continued that last game and just to see what happens. Oh, that's a good one. Um, I'll just do it immediately. Because they could just use some goose stuff. Oh no, and now they will be um, escaping Uro another minute. No, 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 please don't. Opponent, please, please. Okay, so maybe in the meantime, I can just shuffle a bit of shuffle cards to have something to do with my hands, you know. And we'll wait. And we'll wait. And we'll wait. Yeah, again, okay, for people who don't know or who really wish to know, this is Uro, and this is the card my opponent is 100% casting this turn. Oh, let's see how they play this. So they might put like a Wear on top, or Veil of Summer. That, why would you put Veil of Summer on top? That's actually very bad, isn't it? Oh, it kind of isn't. Because if I minus my Teferi, this Teferi, it dies and then they can Veil. Um, but other than that, like, Veil doesn't help you. Oh, they're Uroing from a hand. Sure. I don't get why they would take Veil. Still. Espe like, nah, now they don't even have a land to put into play. So now they're just double Uroing and not having Veil up for this very fringe case of me minusing Teferi. I mean, not fringe. I mean, it's fringe because it's literally on the battlefield. So it's like very much the thing that's going to affect them. But, uh, sure. This game is truly pathetic. It truly is. Let's just... They'll just keep doing their thing. That's not the problem with me, you know. Plus this, play a fetch, pass. Um, then the following turn, I will actually. I might not crack the fetch even. 
And then the follow they begin with Veil. No problem. I actually I will just auto pass this turn and just let them do their thing. What do they really want to resolve? An Urza. I don't know why they tap so much green. Like they could have tapped this and left this up. And then they could escape Uro. And now, as far as I can see, they can't. Unless they've got the whole combo rolled up. With the... Oh, they don't. Really? So they could have just played Urza and Uro. Uh, sure. Um... Unfortunately, I don't have an untapped land to go Monastery Mentor Snap Path. Um, so, I can just, just go Snap Path Urza. Oh, if I was going to bounce the Construct anyway, I should have... Oh, I could have began with that. Because I may have hit that land. That was bad for... Yeah, that was bad. Pass. Bizarre game, you know? That's a bizarre game. I'm sorry that it's so long. I mean, I have 18 minutes. A worth or two. I will make them pay. I will make them pay. Uh, just how far do I have the one? No, I don't. Just hallowed fountain. Just manually kit. I'm not dead yet. Because if I don't leak it. They might just not escape Uro, and then Mana League doesn't do anything. So I'd rather just tap them low. And I, st I might still overpower them with Mentor. Mentor and Field of the Dead. So... I don't have bad draws, really. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I'll just play the Mentor. And pass. And then the next and I'll just have, have plenty of stuff. Not attacking with snap because they will... Um... So obviously I could just uh, hold up Cryptic for Uro. But again, I don't know if they're going to even do it. Because of the um, Thought the Foundry combo. You know. Sure, I'll just... Skip completely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I th my opponent is, I think, is trying to lose on time in this match. And I'll take it, I guess. But it doesn't change my conclusion of... My conclusion of the match. My, my conclusions about the match, maybe. That's a better way to put it. Oh, I just got the turn passed back to me. So, let's plus Teferi. We could actually put Supreme Verdict back on top, you know? Do I even play the Sanctuary? I think I do, just because of the land drop, because it's another land drop. Now, I think actually I will put the sec uh, Sacred uh, Supreme Verdict back on top and just pass. Now, they can with Emery replay Thopter Foundry, but again, I don't really care. I can just click 6 now and just let them do their thing. I'm not going to uh, hold priority. 
to because you could, for example, um, just f manually give them priority back, which would eat, let's say, half a second off of each activation, right? So if you have a lot of time on your hands um, and you do want to make your opponent's life miserable, you could be doing that. I'm not. I'll just let them do their thing. So, yeah, let's just... Espe I mean, especially as I'm literally not dead because I've got the verdict. So, I've got that much mana. So, I could very well, the following turn, just draw a land and have, like, you know, instant speed verdict hold up cryptic, for example, right? Which is a valid way to not lose, right? Uh, my opponent attacks for how much? Five, six, for seven. That's that's fine. I'm fine being attacked for seven. I mean, oh, unless they attack a fairy, idiot. Oh god, that's that was ridiculous. That was idiotic. Didn't think about that. I was kind of tunnel visioned on being killed myself. Um. Yeah, I mean, on the other hand, isn't that so bad? Actually, I could cryptic bounce the fairy draw, for that matter. I will. Trigger mentor. And this way, basically, Cryptic said, you know, gain five life, draw a card, you know? My opponent is escaping Uro. Re no way they're escaping Uro. I mean, they might be, because they need to draw, like, counter magic, maybe. But with 30 seconds, just 30 seconds on clock, what, 70 minutes. It's not like the game one, I have I made them um, click through some kind of, you know, endless loop. I, I literally just scooped whenever, when I felt, even I just, I could realistically continue. I just said, nope, let's just scoop. So they didn't have to click through anything. Uh, I'm not playing this island. I mean, I will have to play this island, right? Because, um, I'm not minusing Teferi anyway, so I won't draw into anything. Now, oh, yeah, 10 seconds on the clock, concede, sure. Uh, resubmit. However, if you want to really get like next level, -y, you could start cut, uh, like fronting inventory because you know you won't have time literally to cast it. My opponent's just running out on the clock. And the hand was absolutely trash. Um, I guess we'll finish out the league then. We're two and two. So see you last match. Okay, okay, last match, and now we've got the classic hand, like, it's it's a kin of the one of my hands, which I've kept, like, Abrab Decay Fawn, five lands. Um, in the same spot. Do I keep this hand? I will. I will. Okay, but this farmland will basically be a land. It's a spell. It's farmland is basically like a better inventory, you know. It's like a better inventory because because uh, oh, okay, this type of mirror match. That's fine then because uh, we have the field and they don't. So we will have to navigate the game properly. Remanding my wall, really. 
That's interesting. And they slammed a fairy. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So that's that was fun. Classic game of magic. Um, okay then. Let's fetch out a snow-covered island. Let's play Wall of Omens. Let's draw. Let's path Wall of Omens. And let's find proper, proper island. And pass. But it seems like this game will be super boring. Yep, yep. Preman into Jace, into Teferi into Jace. I can't do anything. Yep. But we can kind of technically hope that Field does it. So I will kind of just prolong the game. This just resolved. I will plus it on me. On the bottom, yes. Play this, pass. And the next turn I will play a fetch. I plus because of the bolts. I will play the fetch not crack, and then I will play field, and then fetch will immediately activate it. Potentially. They will wildfire themselves. Because what I have to keep in mind is that they truly are just a control deck. So, and they are using wildfires on themselves. So it is very much possible that my fields get the job done. And they're playing quite fast. So I, I truly appreciate that. So yeah, we might have a game actually. Even though I'm barely playing the game, you know. Do this. Brainstorm. I could snap path, but I think I will leave it for the following turn, potentially. Oh! Put this back. Put this back. Yeah, shouldn't. Shouldn't have done that. Uh, I'll just draw one. God, <laughs> this card's embarrassing. I'm not sure they're seriously considering countering that. Oh, they're remanding that. Again, I, I don't have anything else to do, so I'll just cast it anyway. And yeah, and so, so that's why that's but, but the, this match will literally be the reason why um, there is a field in this deck, like this, like a control on control. I'm heavily advantaged purely because of field, purely because of field. Helix me. Oh, they don't want to clean up. Oh, the double helix the Jace. No problem. So I will just jump Jace. Um yeah, I can't go play through Mana League because I'll play the this will be the field turn anyway. No problem. Field of the Dead. Go! Sanctuary, probably putting Cleansing Fire on top, I just assume. Yup. Yup. So we will see if we'll be able to break through all of these defenses. Mm, I'll just 
tapped, sang tapped fountain. Trigger, yes. I'll find a normal planes. Yep. Attacked a fairy. Not surprised. Yep. Targeting remand. They might even just end step, kind of bolt me and remand their own bolt. Just to redraw a card. Oh, they block. They, they should be blocking, I think, yeah. So they are. Cryptic bounce their sanctuary. Okay. So turn three Teferi into turn four J's. Way too strong. Okay. Uh, double V. Oh, I don't have luck. Okay. I don't have all the cards I would like to have. So like the disputes. But let's just do this, do this, do that. Go. Fastest, fastest sideboarding uh, on the Wild West. But these, oh, this game was super anticlimactic. Anticlimactic. I played the opponent's deck. I played the opponent's deck. If you if you um, go to my channel, I've got a full league playing the opponent's deck. I four won that league if I remember correctly. I don't remember what I what I lost to. Uh, that was a nice league. That that would that that deck is is pretty reasonable. So I think it's like field pass, shock wall, and then go from there. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's still go fetch shock. Boop, boop. Yeah, that's that's a draw I wanted to have. Um, so they could yeah. have like a dispute. I don't think I want to. I, I don't think I want to play around that. Especially as I will just jam Jays the following turn. Um, I think I will plus because they have like a reach in the form of bolts and helixes. So I'll just plus. And let's just hope the game flips. And now I will be Teferi into Jacing. They just passed. Sure. Sure. These games have been miserable. Just like... Three Fairy is like a... Terrible, terrible card. In these mirror matches. Yeah, unless you like really ready with the disputes, you know. Okay, let's just play this. Just slam Jace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has to resolve, obviously. I will plus on myself because I just don't have anything, to be honest. They will cycle shark. Yeah, I, I expected that. Uh, on the bottom. No, because I think if they had it three fairy, they would have played it themselves. 
So now they can go like what? Attack Jace for one and bolt it still doesn't kill it. So... Yeah. Opponents in the tank, which is interesting because this opponent tended uh, to play quite fast. So now it's a nice surprise that they don't. I mean, nice surprise. A surprise. Okay, they play Flaxons of Trocaire, which is great because I would be afraid potentially of like attack bolt bolt. Oh god, that was awful. Awful magic. Awful magic. And like they could have had dispute themselves and just go dispute my Teferi, slam their Teferi, and then I would be like, no. Uh. So yeah. Let's play the deciding game, I guess. And like the, may the better control player win or something. Maybe it's time to play Jeskai with Simeon Spirit Guide and just Spirit Guide to ferry out. Um, I have to mulligan this. I'm called to a free fairy completely, to a Jace even. I have to keep this hand, which I'm not unhappy about, actually, because I will go. Tree and pass. Second Flagstone, sure. They didn't float mana even. That's fine. They will find a tree on my presume. That's a good draw. So now I can hold up like inventory or opt. See what they do. Cleansing Wildfire. Sure. Because now they've are tapped out this turn. Probably. This will be like Hallowed Fountain or Sacred Foundry. And let's see if they follow up with the land. They do. Sure. Um, now I think I will opt because it's better than funding inventory. Yes. And that's actually marvelous because... I can go three fairy... And if they counter that, I've got Fawn for their three fairy, and then Anta play my Jace. So the Fawn is excellent here. And now, if they have like counter for the Teferi, their own Planeswalker, I Fawn it, I play my Jace, and they, they Fawn my Jace, or something. Uh, but like, yeah, that's, 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 well, ooh, he resolves, ooh, he resolves, oh, he resolves, let's go, okay, so now they play a Planeswalker, I form their Planeswalker, uh, and then I untap play my Jason, we just do the, the third game, which is like exactly as the previous, oh, they don't even do that, so they will be holding up probably like a shark, which is again, perfectly fine by me. Jace the Mind Sculpt. Boop. I will plus the Jace. I mean, if they have a shark, and they absolutely have a shark, then plusing just makes it dead to a shark plus bolt. But maybe that's fine, actually. Maybe that's fine. Let's, let's plus on them.
and just auto yield from this point. A put on the bottom? Uh, no, I want them to keep the force because I just kind of assume the fairy will stay alive. They have a shark, obviously, because yeah, that was the point. That was obvious ish. And now they'll attack the Jays down to three. They will bolt the Jays. I will not have a Jays, but I expected that. Then I will bounce the shark. However, I can fawn the helix. And actually, I will. And then see what happens. Yup. Yup. Really? Will they take it? Will they really take it? Oh, they do take it. Okay, sure. So now... <clears throat> Actually, I'm dead. Because I minus here. And they kill it. But if I plus it to seven, they attack down to five. I guess I get one more draw step. I guess. So let's just do this. Play the Arden Veil and pass. And still, the game was like super lame. This just, just like, and it's not even quite fast, but it's very lame, certainly. Oh, I auto passed. Sure, that's too bad then. I would have had one token. Yeah, yeah, really? Oh, they, but now, now they will do it on themselves, I assume. Yeah, sure. Um, so now, maybe I will draw a spell. That will be step one. That's a spell. So actually now I can plus the fairy. Tab draw them. And tab draw them. Yeah, tab draw them. Then I can play field. Of, okay, I think I think that's like that's still recoverable from recoverable from. Oh, they've got the bolt, and then they've got the helix. But uh, now, okay, I can just now. I think now I can just counter tap. Because, and I'm doing it now, I know they've got the helix. But I ask, but if, they, if I let them resolve, they say attacks. And I say tap, and then they will kill it anyways. So I think I should do it now, because they've... Shh, they, they, they started it, and I can do both things. A shark typhoon resolves. Okay. Now I can... Sanctuary, maybe like a cryptic on top. Maybe. Let's just take the cryptic, yes. I will bounce it because I think I have to because I lose to this badly. Now I can play field and pass. I think now Teferi will be dead, this game. But I will cryptic the Typhoon. Yep, because I need to have the cryptic for Typhoon. I know they have a phone because I, I've given it to them. Really? Sure. 
I accept that trade willingly. One, two, three, four. Oh, I've got double cryptic now. That's exciting. Now, what they might do is just end step shark. Yeah, expected, as expected. Mm. Now they will attack. So we'll see what their attacks look like because. I mean, what the turn look like, looks like, because I might just end step bounce the shark draw, which I might, and I probably will. Okay, I'm absolutely counter drawing this. Counter drawing? Yeah. I could also bounce the field, but I think I will have an easy opportunity to draw another land in the next potentially one, two, three draws. They, they have the remand, they're remanding the, the wildfire. Sure. Okay. Because I know they have a fawn. So. Mm-hmm. Now let's play this and go to attacks, but I don't see winning this game. They attack me for six already here and they still have got the fawn. So this game had just a bit more going on, but Cleansing Wildfire on top. Let's see how they will draw it. Oh, from a Jace. Okay, 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 okay. So just GG's, GG's. 2-3. Um, let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. And let's wrap it up. This, this card, just, just trash. Just, just, just get, just, 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 just get out of here. Okay? I just, nope. I'd rather play like maybe fourth snap third wall and double archmage's charm or even three archmage's charms and third wall or fourth snap or i don't know a, a remand or just, just 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 anything so that's one thing just this card is crap second thing i dislike opt and i think like the, the card draw engine this deck really sucks because like in bug decks you have like cling to dust mm, for example which is excellent in uh not no, they don't have snow decks here, but I think cling to dust, for example, is is great in black decks. Some decks play. What do they even play? They still play opt. I hope they don't. They might just play not play anything in this slot, and I think that's also better. Just I, I just dislike opt, you know. But certainly frantic. I think opt is defensible, like especially with snap in the deck. So just change that into some number of archmage's charms, and something. Um, it I think it really lacks main deck life gain, but like blue white just just doesn't have that. Mm, unless you'd go for like main deck bane slayer, main deck dream troller, main deck one of timely, which could be a thing. You could just play one timely, two charms, but now you you cut two drops for mo mostly three drops. Um, you could cut for frantic and play two charm to shoot to shark typhoon maybe for example. In general, I've liked that. That's fine. I think. I think it's okay that you play the field mana base because it doesn't really affect the game. You just still play blue white. So I think if I were to play blue white again, I'd, I'd at least try again this type of ish configuration. Maybe just work here a bit, but I still don't know how. Maybe I would probably even change vetoes to disputes. Maybe just this one mana is just so crucial, you know. Um, maybe trim on that if I play timely already. Yeah, yeah. I think that would be like my thoughts probably more or less uh, on the deck. It was okay. It was okay. As expected, it was okay. Um, just as, I mean, it didn't exceed my blue-white expectations. It just, it, I think it's actually just met my blue-white expectations, which is okay. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. And uh, please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And... Please remember to hold my hand. Let's pass the turn together and see you next time. Cheers.